Welcome to City Year. My name is Rachel Halpin. And I'm Kyle Mahoney. And we are both proud core members serving with City Year Chicago. You are watching a live interactive call in television show brought to you on Can TV 21. During the next 25 minutes, we invite you to call in with any questions you might have at 312 738 1018. Six zero. Yeah, and for those of you who uh, may be watching for the first time, City Year is a nonprofit organization um, that unites young people between the ages of 17 and 24 um, from all kinds of backgrounds and brings them to a full-time year of service um, and leadership development. Um, our core, um, our City Year's vision is that one day the most common question that will be asked of somebody who is about to graduate high school is, where will you do your service year? Here in Chicago, core members such as Kyle and I serve as literacy tutors and role models for students in Chicago public schools, and we also engage community members in physical service projects such as landscaping and mural painting in neighborhoods throughout the city to transform them. Through the course of 10 months, each core member will perform 1,700 hours of service and earns an education award of nearly $5,000. For more information about City Year, the service we provide Chicago, and information on how to get involved, please visit us on the web at www.cityyear.org slash Chicago. There are a lot of different ways to get involved, whether you're interested in serving with us for just a day or joining the Corps for a whole year. All the information you need can be found at our website. Again, my name is Rachel Halpin with City Year Chicago. Kyle has taken over the phones, and we encourage you to call in. The number again is 312-738-1060 with questions for our first guest, who is Thomas. Thomas, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Sure. Thomas Tony is a senior Corps member, and he leads the City Heroes program with City Year. Thomas, before we get into City Heroes, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 22 years old, born and raised in Youngstown, Ohio. All right, and how did you find out about City Year? Um, I found out through different alumni from my college who had done their program before, and they encouraged me to like give it a try. And then a couple deans from my school actually pushed me to really like look into City Year and see it as a viable option for me. Great. You mentioned you heard about City Year at your college. What were you doing before you joined City Year? Um, I just recently graduated from the College of Worcester, which is a small liberal arts school in Ohio. Great. So while you were growing up, were you involved in volunteer service? Yes, I started um, doing different community service projects when I was in the eighth grade and then continued on throughout high school and college. Great. What types of clubs or projects did you join? Um, initially started off as just YMCA camps where I acted as a camp counselor and things of that nature. And then throughout high school, moved on to more peer mentoring and different things of that nature. That sounds awesome. Viewers, remember our phone lines are open. If you have a question for Thomas and the City Heroes program, please give us a call at 312-738-1060. Thomas, what motivated you to start doing service work? Um, it probably started um, once I entered high school. And um, overhead, ev over every entrance and exit at my high school, we had the phrase, enter to learn, go forth to serve. Mm -hmm. And it was something I really took like a grasp, firm grasp of. And I took as a personal challenge to do as much as I could to better my um, respective community and communities around that. Great. That's a good idea to have that over the doorways. So it's obvious that you have a background of part-time service earlier in your life. What was it that inspired you to commit to a full-time year of service with City Year? Um, last fall, I found myself wrestling with whether or not to fully commit to furthering my education mm -hmm. or going into the working, working world and what I should do. And so I felt that City Year was a unique opportunity for me to just get out there and do something that I love doing. Great. So speaking of things that you love doing, let's get into the City Heroes program a little bit. Can you describe for our viewers what is the City Heroes program with City Year Chicago? Um, the City Heroes program is a weekend leadership development service learning program that allows Chicago South and West Side high school youth to come together and learn about social issues that affect their communities and uh, um, brainstorm ideas of ways their age group can um, come together to combat these issues. So what is it that you enjoy most about working with the City Heroes program? 
Um, the most enjoyable part of working with the City Hills is probably just the pure numbers, given that we pull from a, over 200 students from the West and South Sides. Just getting a feel for that unique diversity and perspective that each individual hero brings. Wow, 200 kids, that's a great number. So your program actually kicks off next Monday, January 18th, and it coincides with Martin Luther King Day. What have you and your team been up to so far this year? Um, so far, we've just been reaching out to different community organizations, forming partnerships, relationships, getting out to individual high schools throughout Chicago, trying to re-engage our alumni, attract new students to um, grow our program. Sounds like a lot of work. So after all these months of planning and recruiting, what will Martin Luther King Day look for look like for the City Heroes? Well, uh, Martin Luther King Day will serve as our opening day, which will have a keynote speaker from Bank of America, which is the sponsor for our sister program, Young Heroes. And then it will lead directly lead into the, the heroes themselves taking a pledge, dedicating their year to getting off to a positive start. And then it will culminate with a service project at Church Hills, Senior Living, and then end with a poetry engagement activity with some of our young adults that work in other aspects of City Year. All right, sounds like a pretty full day for them next Monday. Viewers, remember our phone lines are open. If you have questions for Thomas or for the City Heroes or the City Heroes program, please feel free to give us a call at 312-738-1060. Thomas, as the City Heroes prepare to embark on their journey with City Year and with the program, what do you hope that these high school students will take away from their experience? I hope that the heroes at the end of the program will be able to take a sense of pride and empowerment mm -hmm. and knowing that they're able to identify issues affecting their communities and feel like they're able to gather resources necessary to combat those issues. That's great. And, and for you personally, what aspect of the City Heroes program really gives you the greatest sense of pride and accomplishment? The greatest sense of pride and accomplishment I feel with working with the heroes is probably working closely with our CHAB which is our City Heroes Advisory Board made up of different alumni, mm. and seeing them be able to take some of the things I try to model and be an example for and take that and change that into their own unique leadership opportunities and lead events themselves is really a rewarding thing to see. Definitely. So I know we're only halfway through our year with City Year, but at this point, what lessons have you learned from your City Year experience? Well, learned a great deal of lessons even at the halfway point. One of the biggest is um, being able to effectively lead a team of young adults and being able to recognize and respect and utilize the each individual skill sets and diverse perspectives we all have to contribute. That's great. So from this point on, how do you think City Year has prepared you for future endeavors that you might take on? Um, City Year has given me tangible experience working with a team and with youth that I can apply for in a variety of different sectors. Okay, great. Um, so, viewers, please don't forget, Thomas is here. He'd love to hear your questions, and we'd love to tell you more about the City Heroes program. Phone lines are open. Call in at 312-738-1060. We are almost out of time for this segment, so as tradition of this season on City Year, Give a Year, Change the World, we have to give you the boot, Thomas. And as you know, City Year Corps members, wear Timberland work boots while they serve. And so this boot is filled with a couple final questions for you. And once you answer, you can then sign the boot as one of our special guests. So why don't you go ahead and pick a question. I'll read it to you. All right. Okay. So what is your favorite service project in recent memory? My favorite service project in recent memory. We've done a couple this year. Yeah would have to be the mural projects that we did at Parker Child Parent Center down mm -hmm. in Inglewood. I remember. Just the thought of something that I had a hand in planning and drawing and that people came to paint would be seen and serve as an inspiration to um, really small children who don't necessarily see the work that was put in, but see the end result and they see that every day. Yeah, I remember those were murals both for the gym, cafeteria, and also in the hallway right? As well as the fence around the and playground. And the fence, you're right. Oh, I painted that fence. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and pick one more question, and then we'll officially give you the boot. Officially give me the boot. Officially give you the boot, and don't forget to sign it after you answer the question. So, 
as of today, I guess, what is your favorite piece of the City Year uniform that we wear on a daily basis? Um, I'm slightly biased to the City Year uniform. Okay. Given that red is my favorite color. Oh, well, you lucked <laughs> out then. So I definitely lucked out in probably the outer layer pieces. I thoroughly enjoy wearing red. Granted, I stand out a lot on the CTA, but... <laughs> we all do, and that's the point. Everyone's supposed to know who we are. Great. Well, if you don't mind, if you can go ahead and sign it. Sorry, here you go. Sign the booth. Any particular place? Any place you want. The last two guys signed there, but if you want to pick another side, go for it. Start a new trend. I'm going to sign my initials. All right, go for it. And Thomas, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to tell us about your experience with City Year. After a short break, we will continue with City Year, Give a Year, Change the World. Welcome back. Again, my name is Rachel Halpin with City, City Year Chicago. Kyle has joined us again from the phones, taking a break. Feel free to call in during the next few minutes. The phone number is 312-738-1060. Kyle, we brought him on to talk to us about a few of the special projects we have going on with City Year in the next couple days. Kyle is the Civic Engagement Manager with City Year Chicago. Kyle, why don't you, can you explain to us what is civic engagement within City Year Chicago? Um, our civic engagement team, we handle a lot of things. Um, as, as you are aware, if you've been watching the show for a little while, um, the majority of our course serves in the Chicago public school systems um, as tutors and doing after school programs. Um, but we do have a few other teams, uh, including civic engagement and our primary responsibility as a civic engagement team is to plan these large-scale community service days. Um, and most of the time we like to focus on uh, physical service for these days, so um, doing things uh, like construction projects, landscaping, um, you know, including things like gardening, um, a lot of painting we do. Um, it's, it's a nice way to beautify um, a space. It's it's pretty easy to train volunteers, so we do a lot of painting. Um, but we have started this year to do some more intangible types of service on our service days. Um, we've done a couple of art therapy lessons so far. Um, we're doing some improv and uh, some poetry uh, workshops as well um, in our Martin Luther King Day um, project, which is coming up Monday, uh, the 18th of January, so just next week. Wow. That was a lot of different projects that you just talked about. I feel overwhelmed just listening about it, so I can only imagine trying to plan and execute all those projects. Um, I, I'm assuming that you don't do this all on your own. You you have a team of core members that you work with? Yeah, I do. Um, I I am uh, very blessed with a team of four um, incredibly hardworking core members um, who share in this responsibility with me. Um, I should mention another part of the civic engagement team is that we do a lot of um, of government relation type work mm -hmm. so um, we talk to aldermen we talk to um, you know like state representatives um, you know trying to get them interested in national service interested in city year and also trying to get them to come out um, and volunteer at our service events um, and on that note anybody you know is always welcome to join city year in service um, definitely you know by getting in, in touch with us so awesome that sounds great so so far this year, I know as senior core members and core members with our year, we are only about halfway through the year. Um, so I'd like to hear a little bit more about what projects we've done so far. But it does look like we have our first caller of the show. So caller, go ahead. You're on the air. Hello, go ahead. You're on the air. 
Hi, Kyle. Hi, how are you? I was wondering if you could tell me how I can partner with City Year. Yeah, um, well, on an individual level? Okay, I'm going to assume um, that he was asking um, from a volunteer or an individual volunteer level um, partnering with City Year. Um, really, there's, there's a lot of different ways, but the first step would be to um, get in touch with somebody on our civic engagement team. So uh, calling the City Year office, um, visiting the City Year website at www.cityyear.org slash Chicago. Um, but we have, um, on our website, we have the dates of our upcoming service projects, um, as well as contact information listed for those service projects. So the website is really a great way, um, to get in touch with us as far as volunteering or partnering with us on an individual basis. Okay. Thank you. There's lots of different ways to get in touch with, that, with us. Go ahead. It looks like we have another caller. Go ahead. You're on City of Chicago. Hi. Uh... Oh, uh, my question is, maximum and minimum age to be involved in City Year? Do you want to take this? Sure. Uh, City Year, actually, core members can be ages 17 to 24, and uh, they just need to have a GED. There's no other requirements, just age 17 to 24, and you can come out and serve for a year of full-time service. If you want to volunteer with us for any of our service days that Kyle has talked about, there normally is not an age limit. Um, we are open and welcome anyone that is willing to come out and serve with us. Yep. Okay. And how would we contact again? Um, you can actually visit our website, which is www.cityyear.org slash join us. Or you can also call the number that's on your screen, which is 312-423-7179. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're starting to All right now we're getting popular. Let's yeah. take one more call. Hey, ha thanks for taking my call. Sure. Um, just, yeah, quick question. Is City Year only in uh, Illinois or the United States, or does it go into uh, different countries as well? Um, it does. We do have a site uh, in South Africa, um, but we are all over the United States, I believe, in 17 locations. We're in 19. 19. I'm sorry. 19 cities and 20 different sites. Um, anywhere from coast to coast. Uh, our most recent site, actually just getting started up this year, is City Year Milwaukee. Um, we're also in D.C. It was founded in Boston in 1988. Um, and so we've just grown from there, and we've got tons of different places. You don't have to be from the state of Illinois to serve in City Year Chicago. Uh, I personally am from Washington, D.C., and I came to Chicago to serve with City Year Chicago. Yep. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so Kyle, so far this year, what what was your favorite project that CE has done? Um, I would say my favorite so far um, was our opening day of service, which we did with a wonderful organization in um, the Pilsen Little Village area um, called El Valor. Um, El Valor is an organization that does a ton of great work for their community. Mm -hmm. um, a large part of it involves working with the developmentally disabled of all ages. Um, they do things like providing training for parents who have just, um, you know, either adopted or, or have given birth to a child with developmental disabilities. They work with adults on life skills training, job training, etc. Um, so on October 1st this year for the opening day of service mm -hmm. for our Corps, um, we did various physical projects for them. Um, we did some landscaping outside. Uh, we extended one of their parking lots to give their employees uh, more room to park their cars. We painted um, pretty much the entire third floor of their of their the residence. Yes, Rachel uh, <laughs> did a lot of that painting. Um, and so we allowed um, not only for them to open up another office space on that upstairs area, but also to, to eventually be able to move some more residents into um, that home. Uh, we did some murals with them as well, and um, just did some interacting with uh, with their program participants because that's something that a lot of times they don't get. So our core members, we danced, we uh, you know we ate lunch with them, and just kind of talked and let them know that somebody's out there, somebody cares about them. That's great. Now, real quick, in a minute, we're going to go to the uh, MLK Day spotlight, and I'll let you do your blurb about MLK Day. Um, but before we do that, would you would you like a boot question? 
Sure, yeah, why not? Alright, let's bring on the boot. Go for it. Alright, Kyle. Oh, this is a perfect question for you. Would you rather paint a mural or landscape a vacant lot? Um, I personally would much rather landscape a vacant lot. I thought that would be um, your answer. Than, than paint a mural. I'm, I like the physical labor, um, you know, stuff, so that's where I would go. All right, good answer, and I, I predicted it correctly. Cool. So before we leave, we do want to real quick go to our service spotlight um, where we highlight one part of our service and where we serve in Chicago. This week, our service spotlight shines on last year's MLK Day opening ceremony. MLK Day is among our biggest days of the year, with more than 500 Chicagoans coming out to serve with City Year. This day is not just a powerful day of service, but it also kicks off our Young and City Heroes program, which you heard Thomas talk about earlier. And this picture here that you're looking at shows some of our City Heroes taking the pledge to be the difference that they seek in the world, a key theme of the Heroes program. Our MLK Day of Service and the Start of Heroes programs are coming up next Monday, January 18th. And for more information, you can visit us on the web at www.cityyear.com dot org slash Chicago and actually right now we have a last minute special guest Miss Kenyatta I'm so glad you could Hi, make it I'm, I'm so happy to, to see here. you good Kenyatta is actually a current participant and alumna of City Year of the City Heroes program so Kenyatta can you just talk to me about City Heroes this is your second year what yeah. what made you come back to serve another year well, when I first heard of City Year, I was just really excited to finally give back to my community. And I see these people come to my lunch period my sophomore year in these red jackets. I'm like, hey, who are these people? And they're just like, weirdos. right, I'm like, can they, you know, <laughs> help me serve? And I was like, okay, that would be a really great thing for me to do. And in last year, I was just able to do so many things like I had never painted before and um, sleeping in different places in Chicago. Oh, and the overnights that yeah. you guys had, yep. And that's great. really being able to touch a lot of people as well as serve a lot of people who were in need of serving. And um, I was able to touch people with my enthusiasm and motivate them to help others. So that sounds definitely wonderful. thought I should do another year. Of that's that. great. And actually, speaking of serving, City Heroes does require you to get up pretty early on Saturday yeah. morning. So what is it that motivates you? Most high school students would want to be sleeping in on mm -hmm. Saturday. What What is it that makes you want to get out of bed early on Saturdays and come serve with us? Well, for me, it's just that drive to give back to my community like at no expense. Like I don't have to pay to do it. It's just just getting up in the morning and going on the bus to wherever and pretty fine for me. I know last year seems like a long time ago, but mm -hmm. do you what was your favorite uh, event with City Heroes that you partook in last year? Um, we actually, I forgot what area we were in, but we went and we cleaned up the area and mm -hmm. we planted some trees and things and I got to name this tree and I, I named them Herb. Okay. And that was like my favorite part because I got to clean up the area and actually be in the area that I'm serving and really feel like I'm really giving back. Great. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm sorry our time was cut short. Once again, if you're interested in learning more about how you can give a year and change the world with City Year Chicago, please visit www.cityyear.org slash join us or call our recruitment manager at 312-423-7179.